Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Trappist, which is a story-driven colony builder where we explore the mysterious worlds of Trappist 1, and we try to find locations to settle our colonists who've headed out there in a great big colony ship type thing in search of a lovely new home. So we'll have a little look around a few planets here and there, where we could encounter all sorts of random bits and bobs. I don't know what we'll find. There could be aliens, or abandoned towns, or advanced technology, or there could be nothing at all, I suppose. It could just be an empty barren planet so we'll have a little look around and try and figure out what's interesting what isn't we'll gather resources along the way so we can do some building both down on the planets and also up in our colony ship and we will hopefully uncover a few of the secrets of our new home out there in space which would be wonderful so here we go let's dive right in and get on with it shall we time to take to the stars okay okay here we go welcome to trappist one our new home oh says aisha the pilot ah right okay we've got characters going on Oh, that's quite fun. Okay, so Aisha the pilot is talking in the red text boxes. And then who's in yellow? Elsa the chief engineer. Okay, so Aisha the pilot says, Welcome to Trappist 1, our new home. The Ark is arriving in orbit around the desert planet. Okay, gotcha. And then the engineer then says, I'll take a closer look at the Ark to see how it withstood the journey. Okay, so that I assume is the Ark. That's our sort of colony ship type thing that we've arrived here on and it's making its way over here to the desert planet. Now, as I understand it, Trappist-1 isn't one individual planet. Trappist-1 is a great big solar system with many, many different planets in it that we can go and have a little look around, which is all very exciting. But right now, we are heading to the desert planet, which is absolutely fine. Okay, so we then say, awesome. And now we can review the controls in the attached file. Okay, so we have a little kind of readme file, do we, to go and look at. Um, oh, that's quite fun. It's like a little sort of text file sort of thing. Oh, it's telling us how to move. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we can do all that. Yep, yeah, arrow keys, WASD, QE, mouse wheel, all that. Yeah, okay, that's all fine. Yeah, this is all good. Right, what are the basics then? So we can move the camera. Oh, okay, yeah, we, we've done all this. Anything else? This is all fine. We're very good at moving cameras. This is all fine. Scroll the mouse wheel or press page down and page up or F and V to zoom. Um... I can't seem to zoom with the mouse wheel, which is a little bit inconvenient, but okay, F and V will do the job. Okay, so there's a close-up of the arc, which is just doing a bit of a handbrake turn right there. What was that about? Um, oh, are we in orbit now? I think we might be in orbit. Ah, yeah, we're in orbit around the desert planet. Okie doke, right, that's good. And then home puts us back at the arc. Okay. Right, that's fine. How is the Ark, then? The living spaces for the colonists were destroyed during our journey. Ah, right, that's probably not great. Let's clear the Arcology ruins from the Ark. Okay, so we can left-click on things, and when we recycle things, we recover the resources used in their construction. Okay, so we have to go and recycle the Arcology ruins. Uh, okay, how many of those are there? How many of these things are there, and what are they? Is it that thing? That's a cryopod. Oh, that's got frozen people in. Okay, that's got human lollipops in. Okay, that's fine. Ah, it's these. Because they've got exclamation marks above them. Okay, there you go. Arcology ruin. Uh, so I assume that's recycle. So if we recycle that, we will get four bits of concrete, four beams, and one computer chip. Okay, so what have we got right now? So up here, we have no colonists at all. Uh, okay, I mean, yeah, they're all frozen. I don't quite know who's doing the demolition work and the recycling work if they're all frozen, but okie doke. So no people, we have no energy, of course, because nothing's going on. We've got 40 concrete, 40 steel beams, no computer chips, 95 oxygen, and 75 health drinks. <laughs> 75 lovely avocado and spinach smoothies. Lovely, right, okay, lovely healthy drinks going on. Um, so if we get rid of that, that gives us, yeah, a few bits and bobs. Okay, this is fine, so we get to click and do this, do we? to all of these. Uh, yeah, okay, we've, we've got this. This is fine. We're very good at this. There we go. Clickety-click, and boom. Okay, so the Arcology ruins are gone. Now we have to build some habitats. That should do it. Let's build some new habitats. Two habitats provide room for enough colonists to operate the Ark and to prepare for new colonies. Okay, so now we have a build button down here. Okay, right, yes, I see. Big kind of crane thing. So where do we build? We need to build a habitat for two concrete, two beams, and one computer chip. Okay, we've got that now. That's absolutely fine. Um, I mean, where do we put these? Does it matter where they go? I'm not really sure. I don't know where this should go. Do they have to connect to things? 
Does it need to be linked up? We'll put them at the end, but we'll link them up to that existing array of things, just in case, I don't know, there's corridors or oxygen or something, I don't know. But we pop that sort of, I want it to go right at the end, like that, look. Pop that like that and then build another one right next door to it. There we go. Oh, while well, placing buildings, hold shift to multiple plates. Okay, that would have been handy to know before, but never mind. Um, ooh, hello, who are you? Jan Goodall, the biologist. Okay, we now have enough living space to start thawing colonists from the cryopods. Okay, we can thaw out some frozen people. Select a cryopod and then thaw them out. I'm sure everyone will be delighted to see our new home. Uh, I mean, maybe? Maybe they'll be happy with the desert world. I don't know. It looks a bit, looks a bit bumpy around the edges, but okay. I like the font for that, by the way. I do like how the font is just sort of uh, sitting on there like that. How do I zoom out? Uh, like that. There we go. Um, yeah, I can't use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. It's very disconcerting. I keep using it, but no, it's, um, it's uh, yeah, F and V, apparently. I like the font there, just kind of floating above it. That's fun. Um, okay, so can we zoom back in? and thaw out some people. I mean, yeah, go to that one because it's nearest the houses. Less sort of walking involved. Um, okay, so every three seconds, a colonist will wake from the cryopod. Yeah, okay, so get that done then. So every three seconds... Oh, there you go, look. It's, it's ticking up. Hang on, is that the amount of people that are in it? Okay, so we've got... Ah, there are just over 400 colonists here in total, and that pod has got, well, it's got 19 in it now. Okay, so we've got people going over here. This is very good. With enough colonists on the Ark, we can operate all facilities. Our existing supplies will let us run the Ark for a while. Okay, that's very good news. So now we're back with Jan. The desert planet below looks like a safe bet to start our first colony. Any orbiting ship will survey the planet to find potential colony sites. Okay, so where do we go now then? So ships in orbit around a planet will automatically start surveying. Uh, surveying reveals locations for colonies and other interesting sites. Select one of the two cargo ships and right click on the planet. Have we got cargo ships? Uh, oh, there. Oh, they're ships. I thought they were the engines. I just kind of assumed that they were the engines. Just placed a bit wonkily for uh, no space reasons. But no, they're like little individual ship type things. Okay, right. So we send you over here then. You right click. And then you're going to go and do some surveying. Oh, we've got to... Oh, oh, that's exciting. You've got an exciting surveying beam thingamajig. Okay, right. You carry on doing that then. Um, we will, I assume, just sort of hang around and wait. I assume just got to wait. So, yeah, is that ticking up? Can we see? Ah, yeah. There we go. 20%. Hang on. Hang on. If time's ticking up like that... <gasps> There's a pause button. Okay, okay. I think it's now time that we ask a very, very important question that I've completely forgotten about until now. I do apologise. But the very important question is, is Spacebar pause? And no, I don't think Spacebar is pause. I think Spacebar is an extreme zoom out. Okay, that's surprising. Uh, do you know what? We'll let you off, game. It, it's okay. It's a tiny bit disappointing. It always is, because Spacebar should and always must be paused. But we'll let you off, I think. We'll let you off. Um, okay, how do we zoom back in? Right, it's that. Yeah, zooming without the mouse wheel is very odd. It's very odd. But there we go. Um, okay, so we're going to have to press the pause button up there, like a pause peasant. But that's okay. That's okay. We shall muddle through. Um, how long does this take? 73, 74. Can we move time on a bit quicker? We've got double speed, regular speed, quarter speed, and no speed at all. Okay, let's get this done because we need to know what's going on down on desert planet. Uh, so, um, yeah, I assume we then go and settle on here. I assume a few people then nip down onto that planet and have a little look around. The desert planet has a breathable atmosphere, but most of the surface is too dry. Yeah, it's a desert planet. It's a desert planet, Jan. I kind of worked that out on my own, but okay, thank you, biologist. <laughs> Coming soon, ocean planet a little bit moist. Um, okay, so we've got a survey report. Uh, oh, there's a proper actual report. Oh, this is quite fun. You get like little kind of little documents to go through, and there are the previous ones. Okay, so a survey report. Um, it was a promising candidate for colonisation. Squarely in the centre of the wide Goldilocks zone of Trappist-1. It's a dry sank of a planet. Uh, ooh, revealed the remains of a past biome. 
archaeological studies confirm the existence and rapid disappearance of a more complex ecological system within the recent geological history of the planet. Oh, okay, so it wasn't always deserty. I think that's what that means. Although there is little water on the surface, underground reservoirs should be able to sustain a rich agricultural colony. Okay, that's quite good. So it might be a bit dry on the surface, but there is water under the ground. When the first images of the sand dunes appeared on the Ark's net, a discussion sparked among the scientists. Should we call this planet Dune or Arrakis? Eventually it was agreed to call it Desert Planet. Okay, I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe the scientists shouldn't name it. Maybe give that to some sort of, you know, artist or something to give an exciting flamboyant name because the scientists have called the Desert Planet, Desert Planet. Okay, they're going to postpone further discussion until they encounter an actual sandworm. Okay, right, it's got various things, gravity and whatnot, okie dokie, lovely. Right, so now what do we do? Um, take a cargo ship for a closer look. Oh, they located a promising spot with underground water reserves. Oh, says Marie Tharp, a geologist. Okay, uh, right, yeah, let's go and have a little look then, shall we? So you, oh, there's a bit, there's an unexplored bit. Okay, so you head to the, oh, there you go. Right, you go down onto, ooh, we're on the planet's surface. This looks like a great spot for our first settlement. We can build a colony hub and a landing pad from the cargo ship. Okay, so we click on you, do we? Or is it that? Return to space, construction menu, use a cargo ship to place a, ah, oh, hang on, is that it? Start a new colony by building a colony hub. Okay, um, I mean, does it need to be near anything in particular? There's some vent type things. Do we want to put it near those? Can we get energy from them or something? We'll put it there, look. So that kind of plops down into existence. And then we have a landing pad. I mean, I don't, is this okay? I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Can we sort of put that there? That'll do. It's near to the colony hub. Right, is this good? First extra solar colony is officially open for business. Okay. We've settled a new world, everybody. Humanity has grown. We can move a cargo ship to the landing pad to transfer goods. Okay, so then we can put you here then. Right, so you're then gonna land. So uh, click or drag on the concrete and beams icons to transfer building materials. Use the right mouse button to transfer more goods at once. Um, we've got none on the ship though. Click or drag on the concrete and the steel beams icons to transfer building materials. We haven't got any. We didn't bring any building materials. Um, transfer the goods out of the ship. <laughs> were we supposed, we have I missed a step? Were we supposed to go and put loads of things into the ship? I suspect possibly we were supposed to load the ship up with goodies and we did not do that at all. Um, okay. Okay, well maybe, um, no, maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't. Was it the other cargo ship? Was it the other cargo ship that we were supposed to do? Oh no, now it wants us to build things. We've got no chance because we haven't got any resources. Okay, hang on a minute, everybody, hang on. Um, okay, now we need to, yeah, construct pioneer camps for people to live in and potato farms and water pumps for their supplies. Okay, it's a very sort of starch heavy diet that we have out here in space, but yeah, yeah it's okay, that's fine. Cargo ships can transport construction materials from the Ark. Okay, let's get to work. And okay, buildings that require produced goods need to be within range of a hub or distribution center. From there, the drones will distribute the goods. Oh, we've got drones, that's fun. Um, yeah, we can't build anything. We can't build anything because we haven't got any resources, because we haven't got any with us. So I think, um, yeah, launch the cargo ship back to space. How do we go back to, ah, like that, okay, wonderful. Um, yeah, come back over here. If you dock over here, look. We're going to need to load some stuff in. So can we grab, uh, how does this work then? Hang on, put it on to quarter speed. Uh, we need some beams. So what do we do? Oh, okay. So can we left click? Ah, I see, oh, we kind of do it. Oh, we do a little gauge of things. Okay, yeah, we haven't got much in the way of food, have we? Uh, we need beams. We need some concrete. So move that over and Maybe some electronics, possibly some computer chip things. Maybe move a few of those over. Keep one on board. Right. And then um, how do we then tell you to go back to the thing? Go back to, hang on, go back to normal speed. Go back to the planet with your cargo. 
Or are you now just in orbit? Ah, no, okay. Uh, oh, they called it Haven. They called the little settlement Haven. Okay, so down you pop uh, and then land here. And then we can, there you go. Right, wonderful. <laughs> now maybe we can do some building. Uh, although we haven't got any people or any water or any food, which is probably not great. But here we go. Right, so can we get a pioneer camp? What would that look like? Okay, one of these. A little, uh, I mean, a, a fairly basic looking sort of, um, sort of uh, not a tent exactly, but looks like a kind of a barracks, like a military barracks type thing. Okay, so build one of those just there. And then we need, uh, yes, we need a windmill or a solar panel. That costs four silicon and we haven't got that. Okay, uh, here we go. With enough habitat set up, we have to live and work on this planet. We should continue to thaw colonists and bring them to the colonies as long as we have enough potatoes and water. Okay, right. We haven't got any of that right now, but give us a set. We'll get it sorted. Um, and then resource-wise, okay, a water pump requires energy and colonists. Okay, so the minute this isn't going to do anything, but I think, and it makes sense to me to put these things quite near to where they're living. So put a water pump just there and then put a potato farm just there. Okay, but now we have no power. The only thing is, I think we have to go for a windmill. Fortunately, it does look very, very breezy around here. It looks super windy. Okay, so we've got ourselves a pump. Okay, hang on a minute. So drones are going to do some stuff. Uh, with these pumps, we're guaranteed to stay sufficiently hydrated despite the desert heat. Like the first Martians, we can survive on potatoes alone if needs be. We'll have to unless we continue uh, to learn more about our new home. <laughs> we'll boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Okay, good. I like it. I like the reference. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's all good. Solar and wind energy is abundant and requires very little maintenance. We can continue to grow the colony by moving colonists from the Ark. Larger colonies can support more advanced buildings. We can build a concrete factory to produce more building materials. Okay. So we can work on this a little bit. In time, we might find another suitable location for a second colony on this planet. And we can survey the other planets in the solar system as well. Okay, so I imagine now is the game going, yeah, there you go. Now you can just get on with it, please. You're okay now. You know what you're doing. Just get on with it. So if we put all the concrete down and all those steel beams, um, and then, oh, no, hang on, no, no, no. We're going to leave them on the on the planet. Leave them all on the planet. They're the planet ones, aren't they? And then we want to take off. And I think we need to bring some people back. I think that might be the issue they're having because there aren't enough people. So if you come back over here, I don't like not being able to zoom with the mouse wheel. If you take, uh, I don't know, take, oh, there's only that many people. Take 15 people, but thaw out another pod. Thaw out another, in fact, thaw out two pods worth of people, please. Um, and then we'll just take... We need to get 60 population there. Crikey. Okay, so we'll just keep that going. We'll take as many people as we can. Uh, yeah, we'll take one. Like, is it 40? Can we get in there, Drekken, as a full thing? I imagine it's 40. We'll just have to sit around and wait for a bit, I suppose. Uh, that's 39. Okay, so we've got 41 people. If we wait until 60... Uh, what can we do with that, by the way? The cryopod um, is... Six out of six comets on the Ark. Is it filling up? Ah, no, the comets on the Ark. Ah, yes. So can we recycle that now? Can we get rid of that? That pod? Because we don't need that anymore, I don't think. So that'll give us some resources. That's okay. That's quite handy. Um, and then if we just do that, we've got 59 people. That is somewhat unfortunate, isn't it? Um, okay, that's got a few people left. Okay, we'll start thawing out that one as well, which is wonderful. That's still got a few people, but we should now be able to get... Yeah, that's 71 people. Okay, uh, yes, you go back over... Where is the thing now? Go back over there. Go back to Haven, land, drop all the people off. We down we go. And yeah, so at the minute, we can't work the farm or the water pump because there's no one here. But then if we then go boop that is now enough people to operate those two things and there is a population of eight okay right we need to build some more buildings i suspect i think we need to get some more of these in so 
They're running out of supplies. I know we're on it, game. We're on it. They can grow things now. They can grow exciting foodstuffs. Um, if we put that there, that means we can then get some more people in. Um, yes, air is okay. It's yes, water and food is the issue. But you are working on your own water and food. Maybe we should bring some more over. Hang on, can we drop off some more people first? Which might be a terrible idea. Got to get to 16. It's on 16. Crikeys. Okay. Um, maybe we need to build some more potato farms and water things. Uh, where are the resources? Okay, let's get another potato farm just there. And let's get another water thing in. They need air, drink, and food to survive. Yep, yep, yep. We're on it, game. We're at, they've got one bit of water and three potatoes. <laughs> it's it's an absolute party night tonight. Look at that. You can snack on a potato, have a sip of water, live in the life right there. Um, and then we will have another water pump. We'll put that there, like that. There's some... What's that? There's something there, and I can't zoom in anymore. There's something there. What is that? Are they just people? Oh, they're the drones. They're the drones zipping about and doing stuff. Okay, that's quite good. That's quite fun. Um, I think, can we build... I want to just drop off at least one pod of people. So if we get another camp, uh, rotate it round. So one like that, and then get another one, and just put it in that gap. And then go to here, drop off all those people. Okay, so we've got 32 people down here. 39 people waiting. Right, get the ship back up into space. We'll grab them a little bit of water and food and then we'll pop back to Haven and just deliver it so they're not quite so hungry and grumpy, possibly. Okay, we've landed with water and potatoes. Glorious day. There we go. Wonderful. Right, can we drop any more people off? No, we can't. But I think maybe now we could get sufficient buildings put down to then get the population up to 60. I think that would probably work okay. Uh, yes, different colonies have different needs. Select any habitat, see a list of needs for that colony. Okay, so they need... Oh, I see there are tears. Ah, okay. They would like some health drinks. That's what they would like. That's an essential thing. They'd love some of those smoothies. And then... Oh, that looks like tea. Okay, tier two is tea and bread. And then tier three is... Oh, no, hang on. No. No, I've got ahead of myself. So tier two is soy calf, which sounds bizarre, and bread. Tier three is coffee, boo, and then tea and milk. Okay. <laughs> wow. Right. I wasn't expecting that to be a thing. I just thought we'd put them on the planet and they'd be happy with it. But no, there are apparently different requirements. Um, How are we doing for power? Can we see the power down? Ah, we've got plus four, no, four energy required. And we're making eight. Okay, so we're okay. We're okay for our resource at the moment. We're making enough potatoes and we're producing water. So I think then, uh, how much concrete have we got? 15. We can get a few more pioneer camps down. We can get some more of these in. So if we drop one into... Oh, that's going a bit crazy. Uh, hang on. Put one into that gap. Just tuck that sort of... Uh, I don't know. That'll do. That's fine. And then get another one just there. And go back to here. So how many more people is that? We're on 48. Uh, they hold eight. So we need two more of these. And we've got seven concrete. Well, that is just unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, never mind. We'll pop that there. We'll drop off some people. <laughs> Botherations. Um, I did notice there was... A storage depot would be quite handy. But was it in here? Sand pit. Okay. It extracts sand. Uh, I mean, yeah. It, uh, do you need a pit to extract the sand? Just a bucket and spade to do the job, probably. But okay. Uh, I don't quite know what we do with the sand. I assume maybe at some point we turn it into concrete. Uh, well, Joe, you know what? Let's just build one. We'll put one uh, there. Okay. So we have a sand pit in the desert, which seems a little bit bizarre, but okay. Um, what does it do? What does it? What does it do? What's its purpose? Apart from having fun diggers. It's got little diggers look, which is exciting. Oh, we can zoom in quite a way, actually. Okay, got little diggers down there. That's fun. Um, yeah, there's the drones sort of flying about. But yeah, we're okay for water. We're okay for potatoes. Concrete is an issue. Um, but what do we do with that? Or is it? Ah, 
A concrete factory. Okay, so we need to bring some more concrete over. That's what we need. So get more concrete from the base ship. And then we're going to need to get some more um, power sorted out as well. So how much is that? That makes... Oh, and that makes silicon. Ah, okay. I see. So we have a little kind of supply chain going on. So uh, where are our utilities? We also need beams. Okay, so pass... Oh, no, hang on. No, we don't need beams because we've got plenty of beams. We can tuck that just there. Okay, so now I've got 10 surplus power, which is brilliant. Uh, right, we need to go and grab some concrete from the thing. Uh, hang on, let's grab some concrete to space with us. We'll be back in a bit with some lovely concrete. Okay, so we're back down on Haven and we've dropped off quite a lot of concrete. And also we bought with us some health drinks because we know how they love their health drinks down here. So we've got a few health drinks to enjoy. But yes, we have got a decent pile of concrete now. So we should be able to get some more building work done. So do we want to maybe get a concrete factory on the go because then we can start making our own concrete because at some point if we don't begin making our own we're going to run out we only have a finite amount on the kind of spaceship in the sky so i think yeah let's get that done we'll pop that um i mean yeah it's not within range of the bots if we put it down there if we put it just there that should be okay so that takes what does that do sand and water and turns it into concrete. Okay, so I suspect then we might need another little water pump going on. Let's put that up in that corner, look, near the farms. That makes perfect sense. I mean, if I'd have known that this place was going to grow to be that big, I would have possibly placed it slightly better than it is now. Yeah, we'll live and love for the next settlement. It is a little bit all over the place. It's a little bit of a mishmash, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's the first sort of uh, the first planet we've ever settled. So, you know, we're sort of learning as we go. It's all fine. OK, do we need to build anything else down here on the planet or have we got everything? I think we've got all of these down here. So we've got a sand pit, got multiple water pumps and we have a couple of potato farms. That's quite good. Right. What is the issue? What is the problem over here? Um, they are waiting for storage area to clear. Oh, Okay, hang on. There was a storage thing, wasn't there? Hang on. Do we need to build one of those? Would it be utility? I assume it would be landing pad, pioneer camp, storage depot. Okay, that's what we need. So we have sufficient resources. We've got enough concrete, we've got enough beams, and we've bought over enough computer chips. Because I think, yeah, the storage depot also comes with drones, which is fun. So if we put that... Oh, it's a whole new little kind of work area type thing. If we put that over there for now... That covers all the existing area and we can then build some more things over here, which is pretty handy. OK, so now we should have plenty of room for everything. So power wise, we're OK, got four surplus power. I think then we need to wait a little while for them to make one more piece of concrete. Then we can get the final pioneer camp done. We can move people over to go and live here. Hang on, what's the issue here? We are lacking sand. Haven is completely out of sand. I beg to differ, game. I completely beg to differ. I don't know why they have to get sand from that place there. They could literally step outside and use their hands. But no, maybe that's not enough sand or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, they're down here working on it, look. They are trying to get sand sorted. It'll get there eventually. So yeah, we will get another piece of concrete. We could just go and get stuff from the ship, couldn't we? We could get stuff from the spaceship. But no, we'll wait here, I think. We shall wait for our first proper bits of handmade cement. So we can do some building and feel all very proud about it. It'll be a nice achievement. And there we go. Four bits of concrete. We can now build our final pioneer camp, which is good. Uh, we'll put that one... Let's put it there, look next to that one so now we can get 60 people in but also um they take power no they don't weirdly enough so i think with the resources can we get another sand pit no we need another two bits of concrete we'd need another two bits um i think that's what we should do do you know what how quickly does it work i think they're working on it are they loading it up one out of four sand available and now they're completely oh hang on no there is one piece of concrete. Okay, bring some more sand over. Bring some more sand over. And then eventually, there you go, look. The bit of sand's gone in. You can work the thing. Turn it into concrete. Get another sand pit set up next to that. And everything will be fine. And I think then, yeah, this planet can then just sit there and just generate many resources. 
it can just generate loads of things. Something just appeared. Something just appeared over there. A little... Oh, they're hanging their clothes out. They're sort of hanging their clothes out to dry. Nope, that's zoom out, not zoom in. Let's zoom in as much as we can. They've got a little kind of clothes rack going on. Oh, that's quite fun. And we have got the two concrete now. So zoom out a little bit. Uh, yep. Yeah. Can we get another sand pit? Pop that in. Uh, we can't put it next to that thing for some reason. But yeah, we can put it just there. Okay, so that can now generate more sand. That can go into there. We can make more concrete quicker. And that's absolutely wonderful. And then we can now put the final people over. And there we go. Haven has 64 people living in it. And that is brilliant. Great. With more colonists, we can build and support more advanced buildings. Keep in mind that colonists living in larger colonies demand more varied resources. Yes, we've seen. They kind of want uh, stuff at level two. And then, you know, tier three, they want tea and coffee and everything else. We're not quite at the point yet where we can provide soy, calf and bread. We're not at that point just yet, but okay. So, oh, we got an achievement. That's exciting. Start a colony at the second site on the desert planet. Okay, we found underground oil reservoir. Ah, that could be handy. Oil will be very useful for energy and plastics. Okay, so now you still got some people on board. I can't sort of get rid of those people, but it's okay, right? So you go off into space and... Oh, hang on a minute, crikey, let's do that. So unexplored. Yeah, okay, so head back over here, look. Head back out here. Sorry, other ship. You're not doing anything at all. Right, so we head back down here... Uh, start a colony at the second site on the desert planet. Uh, oh, okay. So we just sort of do the same sort of thing again. Uh, I mean, yeah. Do we have to? Do we have to build anywhere particular to get the oil or whatever it was we were looking for? Or can we just sink like an oil sort of well thing anywhere? Uh, we'll put that in the middle. Drop that like that, and then we will have a landing pad pretty much right next to it. Uh, let's put it like that, actually. So drop that in. Uh, the site is much less hospitable than Haven. We'll have to move water and food to this site if anyone is to live here. Okay, but how can we automate that? Because we don't want to keep going back and forth doing that all the time. That's going to get a bit fiddly, isn't it? Um, okay, so I think unit back into space. Go back over to Haven. Um, how much have we got here? We've got, yeah, we haven't got much in the way of potatoes on the Ark. Uh, we'll have a little bit of water, but we might need to go and land over here. Are we landing here? Uh, or have I just clicked on it by accident? Move the cat. No, hang on a minute. I want to go back into return to space. There we go. Uh, you go there, land at Haven, pick up some of their things, because they should have a decent supply of, yeah, water and potatoes. Look, they've got. Uh, they've got loads of potatoes. Right, we'll have all your potatoes, please. And we'll grab quite, a, yeah, 40 water and 40 spuds. That should be pretty good. Um, we'll drop those off at the new place. Do we have to keep sort of going to and fro between these? Yes, I think we do. Uh, oh, no, hang on a minute. Press the, where's the, where's the ship? I've, I've lost the ship. Go to space. There we go. You take off. Yay for space. And then back over a graveyard. The second ever settlement for humans to settle not on planet Earth. And we've called it Graveyard. That's a terrible name. Okay, load that up. Load that up. And we haven't got anywhere for people to live. Okay, right. So we need to bring some beams and some concrete and then get some stuff done. And then we can build another little place over here. Okay, right. Let's just get that set up because that might take a little while. So yeah, we'll get all this set up. We'll get some housing in and power and whatnot. And then just you know, get a little kind of operation up and running. And then we'll see what we can build. Oh, there's different things. Soybean farm. There's different types of food. Oh, wheat farm. Ah, they can make bread on here. Okay, oxygen bottling plant. Oil is a cheap way to power our colonies and grow the algae to feed our crew. And we can use it to make plastics. Fresh air from an oxygen bottling plant will be much appreciated by those still in space. Okay, so right. So now we need to make various things over here that we can't make at the other place because we haven't got the right resources. Okay, to construct these buildings, we need more steel beams. We might be able to find a source of iron ore on the outer planets or moons, or we can recycle some of the empty cryopods. Yeah, that's what we have been doing. That's what we have been doing. Okay, um, so I think I think in this game there isn't a, a threat 
Like our people aren't starving to death or whatever, or dying of thirst. Nobody's dying, just there's no progress happening. It's not that sort of, uh, it's not that strict a game, I don't think. It's relatively sort of laid back with regard to the demands. I think, yeah, it's like, we would like some water, please, but they're not there going, we're dying of a lack of water. So I think, yeah, we're, we're okay. We're okay. We don't have to kind of rush it or anything. Um, the, um, the geezers in Haven are not just a water source for the colony. They're a source of information on how evolution and geology interacted on this planet. Take a closer look to collect samples that can be used for research. Okay, so that's back in Haven. Uh, right, we've got eight people on board. I think, yeah, we'll get you back up into space. Or right, we'll bring some stuff down and we will get we will get working. Let's not go out there, though. Where's the thing? Okay, over here, look. Um, so we'll yeah, get these people back on the thing. Uh, oh, no. Okay, we've got eight people sort of stuck here now. Okay, let's just grab some concrete. We'll have all the concrete, please, and all the steel beams we can fit. Right, head back over there and let's get some building work done over in the graveyard. Okay, we've got a couple of little houses and we have a wind turbine. So now I think we can move the people over here. So now we have people living here. We've got eight people living over in the graveyard. So now we need to do these things. We need to build an oil jack at the graveyard, build an oil refinery, but then up on the ark, we need to build an algae farm. Okay, that's interesting. And then we need to go and look around different parts of the solar system for some iron ore because we need to get some metal on the go because at some point we will run out of steel beams. Uh, and then also, yeah, we can look for samples near the geysers or geysers in Haven. Uh, okay, oil jack then. Oil jack over here. So that will be that then, I imagine. So, uh, yeah, it gets us two crude oil and it takes two energy and four colonists. And it takes four steel beams to put together. But we've got loads of those. So we should be okay. So again, let's keep it you know, nice and together and sort of you know, rigid and such like. So there we go. Got the oil jack. So then we want to get an oil refinery. A rocket fuel refinery. Plastics, grain, mill, bakery. Oil refinery. Okay, so it uses eight crude oil and produces two refined oil. Okay, so if we then pop that... I mean, what if we just put that just there, look, next to the existing oil pump? That's going to be quite good. I imagine that saying, I haven't got any oil to work on. Yeah, we get that. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, also, we are down on power. Okay, so utilities. Uh, we have got a few other things. There's loads of different bits. There's a shipyard. There's a research lab going on. We've got fancy apartment complexes, but we can't build those because they need plasteel bricks. Uh, we will get another windmill because they're quite easy to put together. Okay, so that's now powered. We now need some more people. We need some more people to go and actually operate all the stuff. We haven't got enough people to go and press all the buttons and do all the things. Um, also, we might need another oil jack thing, I suspect. Uh, where are resources? We might need another one of those, because I don't see the one being enough to keep that thing going. So we'll get two of those, look. And then also, it would be good if we could get another storage depot in. So yeah, bring another couple of computer chips back with us, as well as some people. Okay, right, so go and grab some people and some computer chips from the Ark up in space. Ah, right, this is a little bit unfortunate. We only have one computer chip. So we can't build another little kind of storage thing over there right now. But we have got some more people. So let's drop some more people off over here and then... We'll knit back into space and try to build an algae farm on the Ark if we have enough resource. So drop more people off over here. Um, yeah, we'll drop the computer chip off, but we need another one to do actual building stuff of any use. Um, and then could we get another pioneer camp? Uh, yeah, we can't build the fancy housing yet. So yeah, that's eight people living in there. And then go to there, drop them off. Okay, so we've got 24 people living here. That's what, eight surplus. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So eight people extra. Um, we've got enough power. Concrete's here, got beams. But yes, more importantly, it's now making lots of lovely oil, which is good. Um, so yes, uh, build an oxygen bottling plant and supply it with plastic. Okay, so how do we make plastic then? Factories. So plastic factories, refined oil to make plastic. We need eight concrete and four beams okay so we can do that we can get that in so let's tuck that maybe just there okay so we're taking the oil from here and we're making plastic 
And then with our plastic, we then want to make an oxygen bottling plant. Um, which one of those is that then? I would have thought it would have been a factory. Oh no, is it up on the thing? Is it up? Ah, it might be up in space. Um, yeah, okay, right. Take off, knit back up into space. Uh, you park up at the Ark and then we shall see what we can build up here now. Although we have severely depleted our resources up here by taking it down onto the planet. But okay, uh, yeah, can we build stuff over here? Right, an algae farm and uh, cryopod, landing pad, solar panel, research lab. Oh no, so the oxygen bottling plant must be somewhere else. Okay, how about then? We get the algae farm down here. It takes two water and two... No, hang on. We have to ship water and crude oil up to here. That's going to be a bit fiddly, isn't it? Two water and two crude oil to make health drinks, which is what they do like. They love a health drink to the people over here. Right, so drop that in. Uh, Soylent is what are spacemen are made of. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks. Yum. Okay, uh, I think let's nip down to Haven for a second. Uh, yes, yeah, so a look for samples. Uh, oh, what's that? Ah. It was a skeleton you think. Nice, fine. Samples like these will give us the required insights we need for quality research. Exploring the Trappist-1 system by surveying planets, building colonies, and collecting samples will provide research points. Research projects in a research centre require research points to complete. Okie doke. Makes sense. That is a geology point. That's all very exciting. Can we zoom out the tiniest bit? We also... Oh, okay. That's, that's not the tiniest bit. Can we zoom in a bit more from there? Okay. So can we see other things that we can click on? Have we got anything else that we can click on? There's some rocks and things in there. We shall have all that. Thank you. Chemistry points. It's a rock thing over there. We'll take that one. Anything around here? Doesn't look like there's anything over there. I think it's all near these things. Oh, there's something there, look. That's a geology point. Some rocks over there, but I don't think that's anything of use to us. Any more little kind of geezer guy? Oh my God, the map's absolutely huge. I keep pressing the wrong button. Can we zoom out? Okay, the map is vast. The map is enormous. Oh, there's loads of things. Hang on, we can get loads of researchy bits and bobs. Uh, we'll have that. Can't see anything else going on over there. Okay, maybe I just had loads of researchy bits and bobs. There was there was one bit. But yeah, it's better than no bits. Uh, oh, no, hang on. There's skeleton things, is there? Oh, hang on a minute. There's loads of things over here, look. There's, there are many skeletons. Oh, my goodness. Okay, right. We're going to spend a little bit of time looking around for these then. Yeah, there's, we can get plenty of sciencey stuff from here. Um, yeah, okay, right. Zoom back out then, eventually, when it decides to do it. Uh, yeah, let's keep looking around for other things like that then, because we've zoomed out. We might not be able to see these sort of skeletony bits. So let's just go and grab some more science points if we can. Okay, plenty of rock ones over here. So lots of geology points over in that part of the world. Some skeletony bits and bobs as well, which is good. More rocks. I think that's pretty much it. They were the final ones that I could see. I mean, that's still pretty good. That's still pretty good going. Okay, so we know we can go and do research stuff. And um, yeah, the oxygen bottling plant, I assume, is that... Is that over? Oh, we can build more things over here now. Oh, hang on. There's the oxygen bottling plant. Could we build that in the other place? Uh, back to space. Go to the graveyard. Go to build. Oh, it's just there. Okay, we need some more concrete. That's fine. And a little bit more energy because we're at maximum energy capacity. What's the issue there? What's the current problem? Graveyard is completely out of crude oil. Um, yeah, okay, we're working on that. That's fine, that's fine. You'll get some eventually. It, it's coming out the ground. It's a slow process. Uh, yes. So what do we need to get that again? So four energy and eight concrete. Okay, so we can definitely get more energy sorted out. That's fine. We can just pop another wind turbine just there. That gives us eight of those. So um, yeah, then it'll just be eight concrete. Okay, can we move resources between things on the planet or have we got to manually go and fiddle about with things because if we have that is a little bit i'd like to automate some of this can we have like an automated thing can we have an automated thing happening because otherwise that's going to get very back and forth isn't it that's going to get very fiddly um yeah and the algae farms lacking crude oil um 
But then, yeah, we're going to have to get the crude oil from there, then bring it over here, and then when it produces the drinks, then take the drinks back down to the planet. There's going to be a lot of to in and fro Can we not just build, like, automated delivery ships or something? Maybe that's a thing we research. Can we build a research thing up here somewhere? Um, yeah, there. It needs four computer chips. Okay, we're going to have to figure out how to make computer chips. That requires a silicon factory, I imagine. Um, okay, first things first. Let's get the oxygen bottling plant sorted out because, yeah, oxygen is coming down slowly but surely. But, yeah, it is coming down. So, uh, yeah, let's get that sorted out first. Okay, we're back with concrete, everybody. Let's get one of these up and running. Oh, it might be able, if we're lucky, to fit in that gap there. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got a little oxygen bottling plant. Fresh air, says our pilot there, as long as we have enough plastic coming in. Okay, so it's being bottled in plastic. Lovely. We now have our basic supplies covered. To really expand our colonies, we require more rare materials. We might find those by surveying the other planets in the Trappist solar system. Let's see what's out there. Okay, that's what I wanted to go and do. I want to go and have a little look around. And over here is fine, look. They've got a decent supply of water and food and what have you, and that's all good. But I do want to go and have a little look around the galaxy. What else do we have going on? Uh, yeah, locate iron ore on the other planets or moons. Um, let's have a little look around then. What have we got going on? There is... There's Trappist. So there's the sun, the, the main sort of middle bit. Uh, we've got the Ark and where we are. There is a red planet there. There's, okay, that's going to be quite remote, isn't it? Uh, outer planets or moons, it says to go and look at. Uh, I mean, okay, let's head over here then, shall we? Can we zoom in and have a look at Planet X? And then we've got, we've got Rocky 1 and the sequel, Rocky 2. Okay, how about, just for now, let's go and have a look at Rocky 2. Can we not move the Ark? Can the Ark not move? Move to Graveyard. Zoom out. I thought, I thought we could move the Ark. Uh, I did try to move. Oh no, there we go. We can move the Ark. I think this is the Ark being moved. It just seems to be taking a while. Oh, there we go. Look, our little chatty people are having a talk about how to automate things. Okay, yes, that would be quite good to know. Our colonists at Graveyard will need regular deliveries of water and potatoes. Even I get tired of making the same deliveries over and over. Okay, so... How do we automate this? Click the return to space zoom out button in the left corner. The first click will take to the solar system view. A second click will zoom out. One zoom out, select a cargo ship. Okay, so I assume is at this level of zoom out and click the trade route button next to the ship icon. Hang on, hang on, no, don't. I want to scroll back up, wait there. Um, okay, so the trade route button next to the ship icon. Uh, okay, we have to select a cargo ship, right? Might just zoom in the tiniest bit, I suspect, because we're a little bit far away. Um, oh, no. Hang on, but our, our cargo ship is over here. Okay, so here, this thing, is it? So select a cargo ship and click the trade route button next to the ship icon. Trade route button next to the ship icon. That's zoom out. Um, okay, a second click will zoom out again. Is that what we want to do? Don't know which button I'm supposed to be clicking on. I'm not quite sure. Okay, we'll go and try and find that. Okay, add two or more trade stops by adding the plus buttons next to the colony name or the arc. Use the right click on any of the three cargo bays and the trade stop to select a resource. Use left click on a cargo bay to select the amount. The ship will attempt to load or unload resources so it can leave the trade stop with the selected amount of resources. Okay, so we basically just add delivery points to a thing. We could, right, go over there, get that, get that, drop that off, pick that up, and away you go. Now I just need to figure out the buttons to press to make that actually happen. Because, oh no, it's there. It's right there, look. Ah, okay, no, I see. I, so I was looking down here. I was looking down here. So if we zoom in a bit, if we click you, um, okay, now the button's gone. Now the button's disappeared. Okay, we have to zoom out to a certain level, do we? Okay, there we go. Okay, so a trade route. So on graveyard, they're going to need potatoes and water, and they make those at Haven. So I think what we need to do is we need to go to Haven, and we need to say left click or sl okay, left click. Can you grab... Uh, I don't know, 15, uh, 10. Grab 10 water. And from there, also grab 
let's grab we'll just grab 10 to start with 10 potatoes there we go so grab 10 water and 10 potatoes from haven and then um okay okay yeah that's good and then we want to go to the graveyard so how do we do that then okay use right click use left click on cargo bay to do that it will attempt to do how do we then make it move to the next place how do we make it move to the graveyard? I then want to go to the... Okay, this is good. I, li I like the fact that we're here. This is lovely, but that doesn't really help with what we were trying to do at the time. Uh, le uh, there we go. Left click and add graveyard to the root. Okay, so now um, we want to... Have... That's... Oh, it's all gone horribly overlaid and I can't see what's happening. <laughs> Uh, hang on, I'm gonna let me go and jab enough buttons and make this work. But again, we've come to a point in a game where we have to do, you know, sort of, um, yeah, it's, I don't know, sort of uh, management of resources and like trade routes and all that kind of stuff. And things generally do go wrong when we do that in the geek cupboard. Uh, although this time, yes, it's kind of gone a bit wrong with more of the interface rather than my lack of understanding of things. But okay, hang on, let me just jab buttons and we'll try and get this bit sort of working because it's clearly not supposed to do this. Okay, turns out I needed to move the camera around a little bit. I sort of had to rotate a bit and then we could see both things. So it should go to Haven and pick up some stuff. Then it should go to Graveyard and drop off some stuff, possibly. Again, I'm not quite sure how we tell it whether to load or unload things. I'm not really sure. And also, I don't know how to finish the thing. Um, I mean, do we add the arc back onto the trade route? Does that then complete the trade route? says that the trade route is unfinished. Um, and then just sort of do that and then go, yeah, there we go. I've added more colonies. How do we confirm the trade route? How do we say yes? That is great. Okay, if we unpause time, is that going to go? Okay, let's see how this works. The arc is making its very slow way over there. So that's going to take ages. So um, yes, how is that going to work? That's not the zoom button. Okay, so what have you got on board? You've got nothing on board but we can watch this so you've picked up you've picked up 10 of each thing okay this is good you've picked up 10 of each thing marvelous you then fly around the planet over to graveyard where you then need to hopefully oh uh there's already a ship there okay it's launch that one back into space what's that one doing that's now stolen water and potatoes Okay, right. The trade route hasn't worked exactly according to plan. Also, the spaceship is flying backwards. Okay, wonderful. Uh, we have a few little issues going on. Hang on. <laughs> that can keep orbiting over there. This hasn't gone entirely according to plan. Okay, pause time. We need to get you to drop those things off because that wasn't supposed to happen, which is zoom out that one. You drop those things off back over in... Uh, great, we'll delete the trade route because clearly that trade route was a massive load of nonsense. So come back over here. You go to graveyard and drop those things off. Also, spacebar is not paused. There you go. Do a bit of a handbrake turn. Um, and then I think, yeah, you can go back to the Ark. So the other ship can go back to the Ark. And that one there can be our sort of transport ship. And we'll just try and make it just do its thing. I'm not really sure how this is supposed to work. Okay, so down to graveyard. Uh, yep, yeah, you can have all of those things. That's fine. You've got 32 potatoes and you've got 37 water. I mean, really, really, it's sort of fine, isn't it? We've got we've got a decent amount of plastic coming in here now. Got a decent amount of plastic. Um, yeah, so I think what we need to do is... Yeah, they are going through these, of course. They are eating the potatoes and drinking the water, as you would expect, as they should be. Um, so I think, yes, you go back into space. So launch back into space, please. And then we will zoom out a bit until we get this thing. Okay, so go to graveyard. And no, 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 not grave. No, no, now, oh, now you're just... Oh, dear. <laughs> This is why I shouldn't be allowed anything that's complicated. Um, go to Haven first and grab, I mean, yeah, grab like five water and grab five potatoes because they don't need that much. So grab five water and five potatoes. That, no, not 35, just five. Five water and five potatoes. And then go to Graveyard and... 
how do we tell them to drop it off? I don't understand. Do they? If we leave it blank, do they then... Do they, right, we can see what they're doing. So they've got five water and five potatoes. And then if they then go to graveyard, are they then able to drop them off? So they're flying around the planet. They go to graveyard. We've said nothing and nothing. So are they going to drop that off? Uh, no, they've just kind of flown off. <laughs> do we have to say, oh, do we have to sort of do that? Oh, do we have to say, okay, right, then drop off the stuff. Are they going to pick up another five? I don't think they should pick up another five. It picks up until they have that many. Okay, this is good. Right, so they've picked up five things. They're going over to graveyard. They should be landing at graveyard. And now, yes. Okay. Right, that's... Uh, yeah, okay, I, I sort of get that. It's it's a little bit it's a little bit fiddly, but okay, I understand what's going on. Right, that's all that sorted out. How are we over here at the Ark? It is taking a long time to move over here, but okay, we'll put the Ark over, say, here. And then whilst the Ark is making its way over here, you, spaceshipy spaceship man, can you come over here a little bit and just do some exploring of that place? Because there might be something exciting on that little moon there. And I think you're a little bit quicker than the Ark is. Yeah, we're getting there, slowly but surely. But yes, if you could come over here and just have a little look around, that would be grand over at Rocky 2, the sequel. And there you go. You're doing your scanning thing. So yeah, you're going to work your way through that. And we'll see what there is. Now, what did we need to get a research thing up and running? Remind me, game. It was... For concrete, which we can go and get for anywhere, computer chips. That was the issue. That was the issue. I'd like to see what that's all about. I'd like to see the research stuff because that's one element of the game we haven't really seen. I kind of think, you know, some of the game we've now had a look at. We've seen how you go down to the planets. We've seen our little kind of floating arc thing. We do the surveying of the planets, all that kind of stuff. We've done a little bit of these sort of uh, trade route setup thing, albeit slightly in a wonkaloid's way. But uh, yeah, we haven't looked at research yet, but we are going to need four computer chips. And I don't know what we need to do to make computer chips. We're going to need the silicon stuff. And then we're going to need some sort of computer factory, one would imagine. Um, okay, so nip to Haven. How can we do that over here? So if we get ourselves, where are we? So factories. Okay, a chip fabricator. So it takes 20 energy to make a chip fabricator. Oh my goodness me. And four steel beams. But that needs silicon. Okay, so how do we get silicon? Um, we get silicon from... I don't know where. Oh, our survey found indications of helium-3 deposits on Rocky 2, the second moon of planet X. We also notice some anomalies in the gravitational field. Okay, hold that thought for a second there. Hold the thought, Emily the Astronomer, um, because I'm trying to figure something out over here and I don't quite know how to do it. Um, okay, how do we get, how do we get silicon? How do we get silicon? I kind of feel like we should already know this. It's something to do with sand, but I can't quite work it out. Uh, okay, where is it? It's got to be... Oh, it's there, isn't it? Okay, so it takes sand and it produces silicon. So we've got loads of extra people here. This place is where we need to do all the building work. So, well, yeah, let's try and get this done. We need some more energy. Okay, that's a little bit of a nuisance, but not to worry. We can get that in via this. That is four steel beams. I suspect we are going to run out of beams. That's going to be the next kind of big issue with this. Um, we can't put that there, which is unfortunate, but never mind. Where can we put this? Well, I can we put this in lots of useful places. We'll put that there. So that gets us up to plus 10 power, which is good. And then we want to get that thing. So it takes some sand and turns it into silicon. Oh, and it's teeny tiny. Put that just there. Okay, so we've got a teeny tiny one of those. Uh, and then we will then need a chip fabricator that will require 20 energy. Um, okay, we haven't, we haven't got anywhere near that. We've got plus six energy. So we would need to build multiple windmills. We need two of those. For another eight steel beams. Uh, okay, we might need to get some steel beams from somewhere else then. Because we haven't got them here. 
because I want to see what the research stuff is like. I want to have a look. Unless, hang on a second. Could we? Um, we need to nip back over to the Ark anyway. Have we got things we can dismantle on the Ark? Have we, have we got little pods we can take apart? Can we take apart a pod or two, please? What's that thing? Um, oh, that's some sort of storage thing, I imagine. Uh, yeah, okay. Can we take this apart? There's 24 people in there, but we only have nine people here anyway. So, okay, right. Work on thawing that thing out. That might have steel beams. and Yes, eight concrete, eight beams, and four water. That's perfect. That's what we want. That's really, really good. Uh, yeah, we can't make any more algae because we're out of crude oil because we have going inside up. Okay, uh, let's take a closer look at the anomalies in the gravitational field. Uh, okay, it's... It's, it's a bit blurry down there, but okay. Uh, can we take a ship down? Okay, we down we go to just there and explored. Let's have a little look around. Okay, what's going on then? What, what's the deal down here? Are these the gravitational anomalies? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to put another colony just yet. I was kind of just thinking that maybe we'd have a nice little look around and, and try and see some things. Have we got any researchy bits and bobs that we can do? Sometimes there are little kind of research things that we can find. Uh, no. Okay, I assume down here is where we get iron and stuff. But we're not going to do that right now, I don't think. Okay, right, go back up into space. Go back up into space. You go there, and then I think, yeah, you're going to come back to the Ark. Okay, you land over there. That's all absolutely fine. Uh, right, which one of these is slowly emptying out? Um... That one there, but we need some more housing. We need some more housing for people to go and live. Okay, the Ark is kind of... Oh, now we need to move back the other way. <laughs> okay, we need to bring the Ark back to where it was so we can move people from the Ark to the little place over there. Okay, Joe, you know what? Just bring the Ark back. No, that didn't work either. Can we just move the Ark, please? Ark, come this way, Ark. There we go. Bring it all the way back over... No, it's it's not happy with that at all. We can't move the Ark now. Why can't we move the Ark? Ark, move! <laughs> oh, there we go. Right, we have to click on it in a very particular way. Okay, right. Bring the Ark back over there, dearie me. Um, okay, we are going to get some research stuff set up. We really actually are going to get that done at some point. Maybe, possibly. Okay, I've loaded a load of people onto the spaceship, and now that cryopod is empty, so we should... Be able to recycle that pod. Okay, that pod vanishes. And then onto here, we should be able to grab some beams and some concrete. I think that's what we're going to need. Okay, so now that ship has got people on it and beams and concrete. So we should be able to get the thing built on the planet, shouldn't we? So hang on, now we can go to... Is that our ship selected? Yes. Okay, so you now head over to the graveyard. Because you move quicker than the Ark does. The Ark is a little bit, yeah, it's big and ponderous and slow. And that's fine. That's kind of what it does. But, yeah, it's getting down here eventually. But, yeah, if we can nip down here and try and sort this building project out to at least then start work on getting some computer chips done so we can then build a research place so we can just see what happens when we do research in this game because we haven't seen that yet. Okay, right, down you come. That ship now can't land, which is a little bit of a nuisance, but never mind. Uh, okay, can we now build the thing that we're trying to build? We need eight concrete and we have five. Bother. Okay, what we could do is, could we adjust the trade route? Could we adjust the trade route a little bit? Oh, no, that means we have to... How do we get the trade route bit up and running of the other ship? Um, here. Okay, so from there, grab some concrete. Grab five bits of concrete. And then on that one, empty out five bits of concrete. Uh, yeah, okay, so confirm that. That's good. And then I want to sort of come out of that thing. Now, that's gone back to the Ark. I don't want to do that. And then down at the graveyard... That one's then got to take off to allow the other one to come down. Dearie me. Okay. <laughs> and then that one, the other one will then eventually load the graveyard up with some concrete, which will be good. So then we can do building work. Dearie me. Managing multiple locations is quite tricky, isn't it? Okay, so that should be fine. So if we then wait for it to take off again. Okay. 
I call this on the arc of running out of supplies. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm all over the place. Right. Get back down over here, look. So you land over here. Right. Lovely. So we can go, right, concrete and beams and also people. Do you want, do you want some people? No, don't want any people. Okay. Um, so can we... I don't know. Was it this one we're supposed to be building it on? Or was it the other? Oh, have I come to the wrong one to build it on? Um... Hang on, where do we need to build the science? No, no, not the... It was that, wasn't it? It was the silicon... Oh, it's the other one we need to build it on. <laughs> this is why I should not be put in charge of things. Uh, okay, we'll take some resources. We'll just take that, look. And uh, do you know what? We'll take more beams. Take all the beams. We don't need more beams over here. It's all fine. Okay, right, you go off to space. We'll land you at the right place. And then maybe we can get some building stuff on the go. Maybe. Okay, here we are. Load in the beams. Load in that. Can we load in some people as well? Nope, not enough room for people. Uh, okay, maybe if we have got some spare concrete or whatever, we could build a little kind of house thing or whatever. But uh, okay, so the chip fabricator is what we want because we want to make some computer chips. Uh, however, that requires 20 energy. Okay, so we need to get some windmills in. So we'll put one there, and we'll put one there. That gives us 22 surplus energy, so we can now build this thing. Okay, so that's going to make some computer chips eventually, in the long run. And then, could we also just get in a little pioneer camp, because that's quite fun. We'll drop one in just there, actually, like that. And then from the ship over there, we can just get some more people out and about on the ground doing some stuff. There's nine people left on the ship. Right, okay, you can now take off and hopefully we should be able to make some computer chips down in Haven. And then eventually use that ship to bring them up and put them onto the Ark and build a research thing and see what that's all about. There's a very exciting planet over here. Look at that, it's on an angle. Hot Nugget! That planet is called Hot Nugget. Okay, I like that. That's good. What are the other planets called? What are they called? Hang on, zoom out a little bit. Um, we've got... What's that over there? That is Jungle Planet. Again, we need to have a word with the Planet Naming Commission. They need to be a little bit more imaginative, but okay. Uh, is this Icy Planet or something? That is uh, Zima. Okay, that's, that's a bit better than Jungle Planet and Desert Planet, I guess. Uh, and then we had Planet X, didn't we, around here somewhere. Where are the other planets? That's, yeah, Planet X. Um, I don't know where the other planets are. Is that all we've got? And then, oh, Janus. And then Hot Nugget, possibly. And over there. Okay, well, that's fine. There we go. So there are some other planets. Right, let's wait for Haven to then make some computer chips. Do we know how many they've made? Can we see how many computer chips we have already put together? Because they're doing something. They're doing some stuff. But, um, yeah, I don't quite know how many we've got. One out of four are ready for pickup. Okay. How many did we need to get a research thing up and running? Because that's kind of what we want to do. In fact, we could just build it here. We could build the research thing here if we're allowed. Um, where is it? There. Uh, we need 12 energy. Okay, so we'd need another two. Oh, crikey, and then we're not going to have enough steel beams. I don't... Oh, no, we might just have enough steel beams. We might just have... I think we've got enough compute. Hang on, we can do it. We can do this. Okay, we're just going to put it down here for now. We're just going to get it into this bit of the world, because why not? Okay, more power. For some Ah, there we go. That slots in. So we've got 18 power. So now we've got enough concrete. We've got enough steel beams just, and we have the four computer chips although they're not showing up there, to build ourselves a research hub. Right, finally, how does this work then? Let's tuck that down there, and how do we do research? Okay, available research points. Biology 12, Astronomy 1, Geology 14, Physics 2, Chemistry 6, Engineering 11, and absolutely no mathematical research points whatsoever, which is very much on brand for the Geek Cupboard, because I wouldn't know any of that. Um, so what do we do? What do we do? But like how do we do the research? Is there a button we press? Or is there something we're supposed to do? How does research happen in this game? We've built a research place. But I'm not entirely sure 
how to do the research itself. Maybe it's a thing we have to sort of unlock or whatever. Maybe it's a thing that we're supposed to unlock once we've located iron ore on the outer planets. Okay, I thought whilst we wait for things to happen, we could go and take a little look around. The jungle planet is apparently covered in a purple jungle. You could have fooled me. It looks very green from up here, but there we go. But excitingly, we spotted small campfires and other signs of civilization. So there are people or things down there, which is good. We need to keep our distance until we can be sure not to endanger the native population. Okay, so we can't go and do anything with that right now, but we have had a little look around, which is good. We can't go to their moons. I don't think they're proper moons. So we can't do anything with that, but okay, right, let's click on our ship and go and try and find some iron ore somewhere else. Maybe at that planet there, the one next to planet X, not planet, a little moon, sorry. Planet X's first moon, I think. Is that, is that Rocky 1? Is that the original Rocky? Uh, is it Rocky 1? Yeah, there it is, Rocky 1, Adrian! So yeah, okay, we're going to have a look around there and see if we can find iron on Rocky 1. Colonists near Graveyard have been disappearing. The only trace left behind is a puddle of goo. Missing colleague. Oh dear, we were studying the oil we pumped up from the graveyard site. When I returned from my break, there was just this big puddle of goo. And there is indeed a puddle of goo next to some sort of computer terminal thing. Oh dear, okay, that's not, that's not very good. Okay, to the lab. Okay, research the mysterious goo. I don't know how to research the mysterious goo game. Do you want to give me a hint on how to research the mysterious goo um, in a lab? Uh, I mean, we have we have a science lab. Can we can we click on the science lab and see what that can do? Where are the things actually? Where are the things? Yeah, the ark's going to be in the middle of nowhere right now. Um, hang on. Let's grab the ark and tell it to go into orbit of the planet. So yeah, grab the ark and tell it to come over here, please, because then it'll just be yeah, at least somewhere or other. So yeah, go into orbit over there. That'll be good. Oh no, you have to catch it up actually. Go sort of over here, look. Um, and then, yeah, okay, hang on a minute. So, uh, Haven. Uh, Haven. I can't click, I can't click on Haven. There we go. Um, no, I click on the lab. Oh, there we go. Mysterious goo. Oh, I see. So it's not a, it's not a thing where we search new technologies on the fly to upgrade things. It's a thing where we can now research things that happen in the game. Okay, uh, let's do this then. So one biology point, uh, which we do have, and one chemistry point, which we do have. Okay, begin that research. Let's find out why our people are turning into puddles of goo, because that would be quite bad. Ah, and we have located iron ore deposits and ice gravel on Rocky One, the inner moon of Planet X. We can smelt iron ore for steel to build more factories. Okie doke, there we go. So we kind of know the deal with that now. We're going to set up a little outpost on that planet, do what we've done here with the little kind of houses and power and everything else, and then eventually yeah, get iron, get some iron ore sort of uh, got out of the ground, you know, get that out, and then smelt it into steel beams or whatever it is, these things, and then we have to ship them around. I imagine I probably have to build some sort of other spaceships. We'd need to build another kind of little spaceship yard to get some more sort of uh, transport ships on the go. And then we'd have a little economy going on and things would just sort of move about between all the different planets. We'd probably get, you know, sort of where are we? Where's the middle bit? So just there, look, that's where we get some simple food coming in and then we get some concrete and what have you. From over there, there'd be iron, I imagine. Maybe down here, there's a particular thing. Over there, there's probably like water or something. So yeah, we kind of have this little sort of galactic economy going on as they move around all the different locations, all the different ships will be flying about. But uh, yeah, we won't get to that point, I don't think. I am going to be quite happy with researching the mysterious goo because that is indeed very intriguing. They are 73% of the way through. So let's come back when they finish their research into mysterious goo. Okay, they have completed the research on the mysterious goo. And now there is a slick antidote. Okay, we found the cause for the disappearing colonists. A bacteria is turning our colonists into oil. Oh, that's not good, is it? The goo is mostly biological matter, essentially oil. Within the oil, we found traces of the missing colonist DNA. We also found an unknown type of bacteria. The bacteria clumped together around the water droplets in the oil. This makes the puddle very gooey. Okay, that's a bit grim. The bacteria were dormant within the oil from the graveyard site, but water brought the bacteria out of hibernation. Okay, we must research an antidote. Okay, so that's done. So 
Uh, oh, there you go. Available projects, slick antidote, but we don't have the crude oil to get that research done. We'd have to bring some over from the graveyard site over to Haven, where we are right now, and get that done. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we could do that. We could get that done. That would be okay. But I think what we'll do is we will finish things up for now with our little look at Trappist. I think we have had a pretty good look at the game to see what it's all about and how it works and all that kind of stuff. And I kind of feel like we've covered the essentials of the game. We haven't gone to all the planets and got all the different kind of stories and things out of it. Yeah, not as much as I would have liked to. There's a lot of kind of setting things up and building on the planets and what have you. But I think, yeah, we have sort of seen how the game works you know, at a fairly basic level. And it's okay. It's okay if you like a game where you kind of have lots of locations and different kind of resource management going on and shipping goods from one place to another and supply chains and all that kind of stuff, then yes, you will likely love this. And also, yeah, it does have kind of story bits going on. Like we've seen the people chatting to each other. That's quite fun. They pop up here and have little chats and things. And um, and then, yeah, we saw the goo just there. We've got little kind of story things happening. I think if you go to different planets, you might happen across different things. It might be aliens or you know, creatures or beings or whatever down there. So there's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. We just haven't kind of uncovered it yet. But yeah, I think we will wrap things up for now. Um, yeah, I did find the only thing I found a little bit fiddly was sort of the transport setup thing. That was a little bit fiddly. And if we were going to have loads of them, it would melt my head a little bit. You know, taking one thing from there and moving it to there and then taking a thing from there and moving it there and all that kind of stuff. All the kind of ships flying about with different resource levels and taking things around. That would that would fry my mind a little bit because that's not where we excel in the geek cover. Doing complicated kind of uh, complicated resource delivery paths and trade routes and things never really works out very well. But, you yeah, know, I think we did okay with that one. Got the basic one set up. The Ark is, I think, still trying to move to where we want it to go. Um, yeah, can we get the Ark to just move over here? Look, keep going that way, Ark. In fact, you know what? Head kind of in that direction. And you might eventually end up in the uh, in the orbit of our planet there, desert planet. But um, yeah, do you know what? I quite like it. I quite like it. For a sort of a um, a relatively sort of uh, relatively simple game, I think made by not a lot of people. It didn't have a great big kind of, you know, production team or anything. It might have been you know, a smaller group of people. I think it's pretty good. It's very impressive. And I do like the fact there are story bits in it. It's not just a case of go here and build. There are little kind of story bits in it. Some we didn't see, but some we have had a little look at. And you know what? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. If you like kind of uh, great big games like this where you build and get resources and such, then yes, you will probably like this one. But yes, we will wrap things up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I'll see you next time. It's got spinny bits on it. It's got wooshy bits coming out of the spinny bits. Wibbly, wavy, round science cylinders. And there's the sun. I can tell that's the sun because it's the hot thing in the middle. It's not a good day for science. It's not a good day to be a scientist. It's almost like I shouldn't be put in charge of running a gigantic spaceship that is the last hope of mankind.